I'm going to use a swaddle wrap um, on Ella now. I'm using a long stretch wrap and what I've done is laid it across my lap and I've placed her in the center of it. So what I'm gonna do is bring it across her chest to keep her hands in place. I'm not gonna bring her hands down because she likes to have them up near her face and she's comfortable there. Um, if she was awake and unsettled, I'd probably bring her hands down, but she's nice and sleepy, so we're just gonna leave them where they are. So bring that one across and now the other one across. And the good thing about these wraps is, is that you can pull them quite tight and this will hold the baby in place. So now this one here is going to come down and around and under and it's going to help hold Ella's legs in place. So I put it just underneath her back. But then the other part is going to come down here and, and be nice and secure on her feet. So just get her legs in place and then we'll pull that nice and tight across there and that'll hold her in place as well. And we'll pull that up there for now. And we'll bring this other one down and underneath and it will do the same thing. So it's going to come down underneath her back and around in front of her legs. Give that a nice pull. And now the other two sides are just going to be pulled up and placed underneath her back. And then the weight of her, when I put her down, will hold them in place. But before I put her down, I'm just going to pop a little bonnet on her. So now that she's all wrapped and ready to go, I'm going to place her down. So I've got a nice well in my rug. And I'm just going to prop her up a little bit from underneath to keep her nice and secure. A little bit of support at the sides. And one more just down under her bottom. And this one here is just going to help curl her up. 
into position. I might just put one more underneath her head. And that is it. 